Hello, driving intelligence community. Well, since this is mid-September, we all know that summer's coming to a close. I don't have any trees changing here yet in Greenville, South Carolina, but what I do need to do is clean up that boat from a summer's worth of use. And I also want to do some dock maintenance, but the primary focus is some boat maintenance. And I also want to just do some reminders on some other things you can do while your boat's still in the water. So stay tuned. If your boat's still in the water, this of course provides easy access to your trailer. This is the time to do some trailer maintenance. I'll link a previous video below that shows how to replace rotting and damaged bunk boards and bunk board carpeting. This is super easy and super important while your boat is off the trailer. Rotted bunk boards can damage your boat and can have catastrophic consequences if the bunk board fails while you're trailing your boat. I also did a short video I'll link below noting the importance of maintaining your boat trailer surge brakes. These need regular maintenance to ensure proper operation. Remove your wheels, check the tires, check brakes, and ensure your hubs are properly greased. All of these items are much easier without the boat on the trailer. Finally for me, I'm going to repaint one of my fenders while the boat is off to eliminate rust and corrosion. Before I move on to maintaining my boat, here's a final boat trailer checklist which includes checking your trailer lights and tongue coupling operation. As most of you know, keeping your boat clean during the season is a challenge. I find it especially difficult in the high humidity and murky waters where I live in South Carolina. For that reason, I need effective boat cleaning products, and for this video, Better Boat sent me some of their cleaning products to try on my 1999 Sanger DLX competition ski boat. Starting from the left, Better Boat sent me this vinyl cleaner, which is extra strength, and together with the boat erasers and an upholstery brush set, should be used to remove a lot of the grime and buildup that's been rubbed into my vinyl. Now, one of the big problems I have with my boat is that under my dock, I get a lot of spider poop that just drops on the vinyl and it stains that vinyl. It's really hard to get off. So I'm looking forward to see how this removes those spider poop stains, which are especially bad here where I live in South Carolina. The last product I wanna go over is their concentrated bilge cleaner. Now you add one ounce of this for every three feet of boat length. In my case, I got a 21 foot competition ski boat so it has seven ounces of cleaner. And you just drive around your lake or in the ocean and this should emulsify and re release a lot of those contaminants, the oil and grime that's in the bilge. After you've done that, you want to just put your boat up on a lift and drain it into a bucket to protect the environment. Last but not least is Better Boat's Clamp On American Boat Flag. This is going to look really classic on that competition ski boat, but I also think it's going to look fantastic on this old Dixie once I get this thing restored. You'll find links to these products in the description section of my video below, including a link to the Better Boat Amazon store where you'll find many products for your marine hobby. Now, let's see how these products work on that 99 Sanger. The first product I'm going to use is the Better Boat Bilge Cleaner, and that requires you to put one ounce per every three feet of boat length. In my case, that's seven ounces. To be accurate, I've used a measuring cup, and now it is poured in the bilge. The directions say to make sure you have several gallons of water in your bilge that uh, assists in the cleaning so that it moves around while you're driving the boat around. I already had some water in there, but I was prepared to put another five gallons in with the drum. But in this case, there's plenty. Now, just to drive around the boat. I've had the Better Boat Bilge Cleaner in my bilge for about a week now. I've just left it sitting in here. The boat is on a lift, so all that fluid is toward the front of the boat. But I can actually see that the bilge pump itself is cleaner and some of the areas around the bilge are much cleaner. And the nice thing is I've got a floating dock, so the floating action of the dock as other boats go by continues to help wash the, uh, the bottom of this boat. The passenger seat of my competition ski boat is filthy. You can see how much grime and mildew has been building up through the course of the year. There's a couple tools I wanna to use. I wanna use their brush that it gets me into these little crevices and cracks between the piping, the vinyl piping and the vinyl material itself. And of course, we've seen these before, but this is a really nice one with the, uh, the foam in the middle to kind of hold it together and give it some more structure and strength. But these little erasers really do a good job cleaning up these types of messes. It says to rub it in and let it sit for about 30 seconds and then to repeat if necessary. But you can see that it's done a dramatic job on this vinyl already and this brush is fantastic to help get into that crevice that I could not get into with the sponge. I've sprayed some on the vinyl seat and I'm going to use a sponge now to try to clean this up and these sponges are fantastic. They really just uh, do a job removing all that filth. It doesn't take much 
what would be even better is to actually wash the boat first with uh, a nice sudsy solution to get most of the grime off first and then this better boat vinyl cleaner will help get the uh, the more stubborn stains out i'm actually being pretty gentle with this brush so i'm not trying to push it down and, and the bristles are very uh fine and gentle so they're not going to do any damage to this vinyl but uh, it is doing some cleaning this one is a little worse than the others uh, actually my dog this is his seat so he sits here and probably leaves a lot more grime than uh, than the average human and as we can see here it's dramatically cleaner There's still a little bit of dirt built in there i'm gonna have to scrub it again a couple more times with this vinyl cleaner but it's definitely a huge improvement over what i showed earlier in the video Something I wasn't expecting with the Better Boat Vinyl Cleaner was an improvement in the stains on my vinyl caused by use of suntan lotion and then sitting on the vinyl. As you can see, my white vinyl has an orange tint from using spray-on suntan lotion which has been impossible to remove. The Better Boat Vinyl Cleaner, while not completely removing the suntan lotion stains, has reduced their appearance. I can only assume that if I had cleaned the vinyl after every boat outing, I could have prevented this problem. 